let's talk about uh Ryan Garcia. Y'all know I was gonna get to this about Ryan Garcia, which I had to figure out how to get to where I need to get to up out of here. You know how Ryan Garcia said he fired Lupe Valencia. Okay, now I was one of the few guys who actually knew who Lupe Valencia was on social media or whatever. Um, you know, he was Ryan Garcia's advisor. Um, he was like, you know, everything had to go through him. Like, he was the one that was blocking fights when Golden Boy. Golden Boy, uh, I ain't gonna lie, I seen this pretty black chick right here. She had, I don't know, she got this lime green dress on with pink lipstick. She was pretty, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she had, but, uh, let's see, I should have went back and said something. But, uh, but I gotta get somewhere. So, he's like, uh, everything went through him. Like, when Della Hoy was trying to make tough fights, Lupe Valencia and allegedly Ryan Garcia, well, allegedly Lupe Valencia and Ryan Garcia family, one let him try to make Oscar make the fights he wanted to uh, make. So basically, he was his own, his Al Heyman. Now he was basically saying online that Lupe Valencia was an Al Heyman puppet, that him and Al was close. And I heard I heard that behind the scenes they was close, and Al was controlling uh, Ryan through Lupe Valencia, and that Al Heyman basically told him that you only got to sign a PBC. I still control what you do through Lupe Valencia. So he fired Lupe based off of that. You know, he didn't fire Lupe for doing good work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, and for not doing good work. And, you know, it sound like it was some other stuff going behind the scenes. A lot of people are saying now he blaming Al Heyman for popping hot. And people still believe him. You got Andre Durrell out here cloud chasing talking about I believe him. Man, shut your ass up. Go believe in your career again. Go believe what you left behind in your career. How about that? <laughs> the biggest disappointment in uh, Midwest boxing history. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless. Um, but nonetheless, bro. It's just to the point where this dude blaming everybody. For his mishaps, for his mistakes, for his decision. You know, for your career going the way you go. Lupe Valencia did a great job protecting you and getting you money. Canelo, the reason why you getting the money that you get now, he made Oscar Terrio deal up and give you a new deal before he left. That was allegedly. So for you to throw Canelo under the bus, and he only got six months. You and Valdez was comrades. So throw Valdez under the bus. He didn't get suspended. Then he threw Frank Martin up under the bus. He's a real life snake. But had he been pulling this versus Tank, they would be saying the same thing that we seen. But you know what? You know, when something else happened like this, bro, I ain't got nothing to say. Don't don't ask me nothing, bro. When I do dead the box, don't come over here saying shit. I don't want to hear. It. You know, I really don't want to hear. It. But uh, yeah, you know, he takes no responsibility for his actions. Spoiled kid growing up. Simple as that. And you get that from a lot of kids that was raised by their mothers. And they don't take responsibility for their own actions. Yep. You get that. Why are we breaking? It must be traffic. I'm going another way. Yep. I'll just take the long way. Not dealing with it. But a lot of these dudes don't take responsibility for their actions. You know? And um, he one of them. So everybody fought for Ryan. You know? It was, you know, Ashwagandha fought. It was Neutral Bio fought. It was the other company fought. It was Victor fought. It was the Haney's. It was Scooter for. Come on, man. It's Ryan's fault. Lupe ain't do shit but get you the most money for the easiest fighters. What Al Heyman had to do with you fighting Devin Heyman? If Al Heyman really controlled your moves, he 
he he would have let you fall rolly and took money out of Devin Haney mouth because everybody mad at Devin Haney. This is why they mad at Devin Haney. Is because he not like he not doing it the traditional way. That's what it is. And what they doing is they using writers, they using fake ass bots, they using burner accounts on social media to try to discourage Devin Haney. Because Bill and Devin took their careers and cut the promoter out for the most part and they working on a fight by fight basis to have fluidity in their career they did it their own way they became bosses but the thing about it is they don't want that to become infect infectious amongst other boxers but the problem with that is every boxer ain't got a, a money mindset every man 99.9% .9 of boxers rather just do it the lazy way and have a promoter have, have, have handle everything when you a boss and you sitting at the table, this was funny when Crawford was like, well, we need to sit at the table. They like, absolutely not. What's your black ass sitting at the table for? They like, absolutely not. Your black ass do not need to be sitting at the table. Because then you can see all the numbers. It's very transparent with everything is going. And they can't, they can't chuck and job you on the bread. And if every fighter did a mindset like that, they wouldn't need promoters no more. They would not need promoters no more. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. They would not need promoters anymore. So if they don't need promoters anymore, you know, you really can just middleman between the network. The promoters are not needed. That's why they mad at Haney. It is, like, I t like I said in my, uh, some of my videos on the Patreon, I think I said it in my JJ uh, LeBron live I did, improv live I did Saturday afternoon. I said that the man doesn't do the manual labor when it comes to modern day lynching. Will McMill say, um, and that song on championships, he said, back in the day, if you build, you'll probably get killed. But they don't kill you now, they just take you out of your deal. Watch your account get killed, or something like that. <laughs> man, that, man he, he was, man, he was a rare form on that album. But that's what they do now. They let the people, they let the, they let your own people do the manual labor, the modern day literal line. You know, Bill Cosby and R. Kelly, and, and everybody, and a lot of other regular black folks are following that model. CJ, what model was that? Let me go tell the internet, had the internet share it and say this dude's a creep or say this woman did this. And then the police get involved. Instead of going straight to the police, they tell the streets so the streets can tell the, so the streets can see it from the police. Or from the, so the police can see it from the streets. They want the attention. And that's the scary thing about it. No matter how bad the attention is in our community, our people want it. No matter how bad the attention is, how bad it is, they, they, they think all promo is good promo. They don't think about their kids. They don't think about their family's name. They don't think about their brothers, their sisters, their aunts, their confidants, their employer, their employees. They don't care. And that's the crazy thing about dealing with black people in 2024. They don't care about you. Well, they don't care about their kids. How can they care about you when they don't care about their kids? They not a lot of these people not even willing to sacrifice for their kids. They can't give up going to the club to raise their kids. They can't give up dope for for their kids and stop doing cocaine for their kids. They can't stick in a household and be and and and, 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 and raise a family. For their kids, all they think about these brothers, these sisters, and these brothers, these brothers, they think about themselves. They care more about getting high, more about what's on their back than they what's in their kids' minds, what's in their kid on their kids' plate. They don't care about their kids, and that's scary. If you get people to open to get admitted to you, you you wouldn't believe it. They don't care about their kids. And y'all gonna say CJ is crazy? 
That's what y'all gonna say. This nigga's crazy. I'm not. I done had women tell me off their own mouth. I don't want to be a mother. <laughs> I swear to God. And I know a lot of these dudes, they carry themselves the same way. You don't have to say it. A lot of these brothers carry it the same way. They carry it the same way. You don't have to say it, my brother. I seen a dude on a date, took his, his, his newborn on a date with another girl, and the girl flipped out. They don't care about these kids in the community, bro. But, nonetheless, the brother Bill care about his son. You know? Um, and what they did was, they wanted to, cook, they, for the most part, they cut out the tradition of using a promoter. And more fighters to do so. You don't need a promoter, go to the network. The promoter don't do shit but allocate your money and steal the money off top. Don't believe me. That's all they do. They just a, a high priced middleman that you really don't need at the end of the day. They don't run commercials. They don't really promote no more and market no more. You do that yourself. They ain't to plug the brand deals or nothing. You got to go out there and do that yourself. They do nothing and reap all the benefits. Don't even run promo for your fights no more. So, yeah. But like I said, man, that's why they mad at Devin. That's why the promoters, and they, they disparaging his name. Oh, he don't sell. He don't do that because... You know, he trying to make them extinct and more fighters to follow the plan. You don't need Al Heyman. Let's keep it real. You don't need Bob Aaron, Frank Warren. What the fuck you need them for? You know? But back to Ryan, to end the video off on him. So everybody fought but Ryan. He apologized to Zab, but never apologized to Devin. That should let you know everything you need to know right there. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, make subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase the chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video financially. If you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Limo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Limo, PayPal, um, Apple Podcast, Spotify, the whole nine. Hit the link tree, check out the Patreon. Peace.